Hi, this is MTS Puppet, and it's the 20th anniversary of the Vancouver Asian Film Festival. I have founder Barbara Lee here and festival director Grace Chin. So Barbara, tell us, how did it all start 20 years ago? Oh gosh, I was very young and I na naive, um, but I really thought that there should be a place to show Asian films and diversity in storytelling. So I looked around and I didn't find anything, any kind of film festival that had an Asian voice, so I thought I'd start it. And I got uh, a bunch of friends and we just didn't really realize how hard it would be and we just plowed ahead and started talking to other film festivals like Seattle International Asian Film Festival and San Francisco International Asian American Film Festival and New York and we just worked on their programming and then put the word out there but th back then it was fax machines and phone calls no internet th back then <laughs> so it was tough what are some of the highlights of the 20 years Barbara well probably our biggest highlight is our first film we showed was shopping for fangs which was directed by Justin Lin and Quentin Lee and Justin Lin has gone off to become very successful with the uh, Fast and Furious franchise and now Star Trek Beyond. So he's sort of our success story. And we've had lots of filmmakers that their first films were shown at Bath. And now they've gone on to make a name for themselves. So that's really exciting, as well as actors. So I hear you have some special programming for this year's 20th anniversary. Tell us about that. Well, for our 20th year, what's happened now and what's been happening online and with social commentary is how many Asian characters in film are being replaced or cast by uh, Caucasian actors, and we're really upset that there's not enough diversity, especially for Asian actors. There's enough. There's not enough opportunities for them. And 20 years later, we're still struggling with this. Mm -hmm. So what VAF is doing is we are doing the AIM-3 Summit, and it's basically Asians in movies, media, and music. And we're trying to advocate, and we're bringing in, as one of our keynote speakers, William Yu, who was the media strategist that did Starring John Cho Project, mm -hmm. that got a lot of this conversation going about we need more Asian representation in film. We can be cast as leading characters, leading actors. So we're bringing them all in to try to make some real changes this year. And we have three, um, three sessions. The first one is Asians in um, comics, because a lot of the movies nowadays, are that's where they're finding the stories in comic books. So we want to make sure that our voices are there. Asians in music, and then Asians in, in movies and in film. So this is the first weekend, uh, Grace, of, of November, right? And it's at the International Village Cineplex Odeon. Is that correct? Yes. So tell us what are some of the highlights of this year's programming, Grace? <sighs> This year, this year's festival runs at Cineplex Odeon International Village from November the 3rd to the 6th. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're screening around 40 films. Uh, and essentially, it's we're, we're looking at films that are Pan-Asian in terms of origin mm -hmm. and in terms of interest. Uh, many of the films are in English because as we're all speaking English now, for sure there would be. About 30% of the programming is in a language other than English. Um, in terms of highlights, uh, we are proud to have the world premiere of a BC made documentary called All Our Father's Relations. Mm -hmm. And it looks at uh, the, the relationship since the 19th century of Chinese Canadians with uh, First Nations, uh, particularly here in BC. Mm -hmm. And it focuses on um, the Grant family, their uh, Musqueam Nation elders. And uh, it, it talks about them growing up with a Chinese father and a First Nations mother and visiting Guangdong, China for the first time. Well, yeah. There's a long history and I think it's something we said for that. And I guess the focus is that mostly these are um, North American Asian filmmakers and that's why it's mostly in English and so on. But our, and that's basically it, right? That, that is basically the reason why. Um, and in, although increasingly now what we're seeing are a lot of films that reflect uh, the global village. Um, films that are in more than one language. You know, so in other words, we're speaking in English one second, we'll switch into Hindi or into Cantonese another second. Yeah. You know, yeah, and that just simply reflects the way a lot of people are now and a lot of people live now. So it doesn't compartmentalize us as much. It shows us as true global citizens. Wow, 20th anniversary sounds really exciting. I'm so excited about excited. being there. I've seen the festival grow, and uh, well, hope to see you there. And, and uh, the programming should be out pretty soon, right? Yes, uh, our official program announcement is October the 6th. Um, hope to see you all there. Great. Well, thanks, Grace and Barbara, for being here talking to us about this 20th anniversary film festival. And uh, thank you for being here. This is MTS Poppet. Up next is Sherry Dougal with her health segment.